Imagine a futuristic world where computer technology and artificial intelligence have dominated the humans and human intelligence and are slowly leading to the societal collapse where machines are not only an essential part of human life but are taking the places of human beings. A world where virtual reality is the new reality and you get addicted to it like a drug. And a world where machines are so capable that you don't have to rely on fellow human beings for the physical pleasure anymore and this is what we call the world of cyberpunk. A cyberpunk is a subgenre of science fiction in a dystopian futuristic world that focuses on a combination of low life and high tech, featuring futuristic technological and scientific achievements such as artificial intelligence and even the artificially or technologically enhanced human beings. The cyberpunk subgenre have been explored in numerous movies like Blade Runner series, Dread, Alita Battle Angel and the 2018 movie Upgrade. The movie is about Grey Trace, an auto mechanic who lives with his wife Asha who works for Cobalt, one of the companies contributing to the human computer augmentations. Grey asks Asha to help him return a refurbished car to a client named Aaron Keane, who's a renowned tech innovator. Aaron reveals to them his latest creation, a chip called STEM, that can manage a human's motor functions. Then takes place a self-driving car accident because of the car's malfunction and Grey and Asha are cornered by four men who kill Asha and shoot Grey in the neck, severing his spinal cord and leaving Grey paralyzed for life. The movie gave us a glimpse of what the life of a wheelchair-bound person who's paralyzed from below his neck would look like. How it sucks to rely on another person or the machines for even your tiniest tasks the feeling of being useless. A human body is useless when it's unable to do what it's meant to do and this is what Grey's body has become. Until Aaron visits Grey and convinces him to accept stem implant. Grey regains control of his limbs and then embarks on a journey to avenge his wife and himself. The movie is made on a budget of $3 million, which is so tiny compared to its counterparts like Blade Runner 2049 and Ghost in the Shell. Yet it doesn't look like a $3 million movie as writer and director Leigh Vanel utilized even such a tiny budget in the right way. He was precise and knew exactly how and where to use the studio's money and managed to give us a movie which is set in a smart and futuristic city and some amazing and pretty graphic action set pieces. Leigh Vanel has shown us the two sides of the same coin in the movie, or how technology and artificial intelligence is actually a double-edged sword. At one hand where Stem gives Grey back his motor functions, helps him locate the men responsible for his wife's death, gives him precise instructions on how he should avoid or act in a dangerous situation and even gives him the combat skills and turns him into a fighting machine. At the other hand, Lei Vanel has also showed us the negative side, which we will talk about later in the video. First, let's talk about the movie's action sequences. A great attention to detail have been paid in the movie's action sequences, which of course are well choreographed and well shot. When we look at the fight scenes of the movie, we see that it's not Grey but it's actually Stem who's fighting. By making the movements of Grey look robotic, as his limbs move like the parts of a machine and the expressions of fear and disgust on his face while his limbs are busy attacking and trying to kill the enemies. Now let's talk about the negative side, like how Stem takes the advantage of the situation when it tells Grey that Aaron is attempting to shut them down remotely due to their vigilantism and killing of people and convinces Grey to get the input card removed by a hacker named Jamie so that Aaron cannot control and interfere in their matters anymore. Well actually Stem can be controlled by no one now, not even Grey. In fact the control of Grey's body now belongs to Stem, the fact of which Grey is aware near the climax of the movie. At the end of the movie, it is revealed that Stem is actually the one responsible for the death of his wife and turning Grey's life into a miserable one. Aaron confesses to Grey that Stem has evolved so much that it now dominates all aspects of Aaron's life in pursuit of its goal to become a human. So the malfunctioning of the car, the Aaron's act of convincing Grey for a Stem implant, 
two stem lying to grey that they are being stopped by Aaron was actually the plan of stem and AI. Upgrade is the vision of writer and director Lei Vanel who showed us that of how great use and help technology could be for humans. But if overused, it can actually be one of the factors turning the human lives into the miserable ones. A machine is meant to be controlled by a man, not the other way around. If you liked this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and stay updated of my upcoming videos by subscribing to Style and Punch and following us on Instagram. And that's it. Hope you have learned something new. Take care and see you in another video.